What is up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingDudes.com, and welcome back to a new video that we're going to do each and every week. A thank you to Magic for uh, coming up with this idea. We're going to rank the top three, or excuse me, I'm already off to a great start. We're going to rank the top five three-year-olds in the country each and every week. Uh, Magic kind of said, look, don't make it about distance, turf, dirt, whatever. Just here are the top five three-year-olds, male, female, I should say as well. Here they are. Here's the top five. You rank them how you want to rank them. So, the top five three-year-olds for me, and I before I even start this, I think these are going to completely change. So how I'm ranking them is of what they've done right now. Let's say three-year-old of the year voting was now, today, based on their accomplishments. Here's what they have done. Here's who should, who I have ranked one through five. Now I will say, and I'll throw in, you know, I will talk about a few horses I think are going to move up that list as well on on this uh, these uh, videos. So. Uh, these again this is not what i think is going to happen as far as when we get to you know eclipse award voting who's going to win and who's not uh it's not hey these are the horses i think are going to even win races in the rest of the season it's as of right now here's how i have them ranked so with that big disclaimer and keep that in mind because i think this horse is going to be nowhere to be found on this list by the time it's over but he, i think he has to be on the list now i have national treasure at number five I really don't think he's that good of a horse, but he won one of the biggest races in this country for three-year-olds so far this year when he won the Preakness Stakes. So you got to put him on the list right now. Uh, he's also trained by Bob Baffert, so it wouldn't be shocking if he won a couple more races. So at number five, I do have National Treasure. Please don't write me and say, well, he's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Listen, he won the Preakness. He's got to be on the list, at least uh, until some other horses win some big races. So number five, National Treasure for me. Number four is Archangelo. This is another one. People might think, God, I think he's I think he's the best horse in the crop. He very well could be. The problem is he is lightly raced. Uh, he, he did win the Peter Pan very impressively. Um, and then he did win the Belmont Stakes also very impressively. I tell people it's like this. He's one win away from being number one. And that's kind of how I would say six, seven, eight, three-year-olds are right now. They're one big win, Haskell, Travers away from being number one. And Archangelo is certainly that way. So I've got him at number four right now. Like I said, one big win away and he's number one on the list. I, I'm, that's, I'm not saying he's the fourth best horse in the crop. I'm just saying right now in the rankings, he would be number four based on what he has done so far. Number three, and this horse will sadly fall out of the rankings. Number three is two fills. And this is a, a horse that dominated the Ohio Derby, maybe ran the best uh, in the Kentucky Derby, you know, blazing pace. He was right there. He held on for second. So two fills. Sadly, out with an ankle injury, retired now. He's on the list at number three. He will drop out of it, obviously, because he can't build the resume. And some of these other horses are going to. So number three, two fills for me. Number two is Mage. I could see this horse dropping completely out of the rankings. I could see him being the number one three-year-old. I am totally on the fence with him on which direction he's going to go. I do think he's earned that number two ranking, though. He won the biggest three-year-old race in this country. That carries a ton of weight. He also was solid uh, in the Florida Derby, finishing second. Um, you know, the thing about it is he is lightly raced. And if, say, he runs Haskell, Jim Dandy's Travers, he loses. He's probably going to fall off the list. He wins. He's probably going to go to number one. So there's so much to be sorted out. I'm completely on the fence about who he is. Uh, I think he's talented. I think he's solid. I don't know if he's going to be that type to win the Eclipse Award. I don't know if he's that caliber or not. He still, in, in the oddest way, even though he won the Kentucky Derby, he still has some proving to do. Because when you look at numbers, and numbers are not everything, the Florida, or excuse me, the Kentucky Derby was is just an outlier for the rest of his performances. You look visually at the race, forget about the numbers. His Kentucky Derby is a little bit of an outlier from the rest of his races and how he's looked. So he's at number two right now. He's certainly earned that. But he'll have to prove it some more if he wants to stay up in these rankings and finally another horse that quite frankly will have to have to have a little bit of a not a little bit but a big summer to stay here number one on my list right now is forte now it's very unfortunate what happened with him the triple crown season he obviously had to scratch from the kentucky derby and a horse that he had previously defeated won the kentucky derby so that's obviously very uh disappointing for forte couldn't run in the preakness because of that scratch Ran in the Belmont. They really didn't want to run him there. That was not the original plan, but it was like, well, that's what's left. I thought he ran exceptionally well in the Belmont 22nd, despite not really being completely uh, tuned up. It's probably not the right word, but it's just really hard to prepare a horse for the Belmont when you haven't raced since early April. So 
He's number one here. I thought he ran well enough uh, in the Belmont to, to, to be number one. Of course, he also has two big wins down at Gulfstream uh, in the Fountain of Youth and the Florida Derby. So he's number one right now, but he's one loss away in the summer from losing that spot or one big win from another horse from losing that spot. So uh, he's number one now. We'll see what happens. Some horses you really need to keep an eye out for that are outside of this top five list. And I think they're all, not all, but a bunch are trained by Bob Baffert. You look at Fort Bragg, he has been exceptional around one turn. He could jump on this list as a one-turn horse. Uh, you know, with another race like that, he would jump on the list, obviously. And he's he's one you better look out for. Now, Bob Baffert said they might stretch him out in distance. So we'll see what happens with him. Fort Bragg's one you better watch. Arabian Lion, I kind of think he might be the most talented of the three-year-old class. I don't know how far he wants to go. He's another one that's kind of been best around one turn although he has ran pretty decent around two turns as well he's another one they might stretch out arabian lion honestly he's one like really impressive way uh, a win away from being like one or two on the list so keep an eye on him arabian knight a horse uh, that is back in, in in training and has been training pretty regularly he's going to be back soon he could be a big threat as well so those are some horses kind of keeping out an eye out for angel of empire obviously another one for brad cox who um this kind of disappointed in the Belmont, but he's he's a better horse than what he showed there. He could jump back there as well. So there's a lot on the cusp, but right now, number five, National Treasure, number four, Archangelo, number three, two fills, number two, or excuse me, number three, two fills, number two, Mage, number one, Forte. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this video. We'll be back each and every week with this. So uh, if you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and you get alerted anytime. We have our new three-year-old top five rankings. RacingNews.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here, our picks are heating up, we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now, click the notification bell, you don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.